Hi, I'm Amy, the Roaming Historian. I'm at the Castle Museum in Saginaw County, Michigan. And here they have an awesome exhibit called Sign of the Times, the Art of Effective Design. It's the birth of the great American political poster. And the political posters, the birth will start from 1844 to 1890, um, but we're gonna see these all the way through 2012. So um, I'm just gonna take you around and show you some of these. Um, here we have Democratic Party candidates, James K. Polk and George Dallas in 1844. More 1844, uh, we have the Whig Party candidates. Let me try to get the, so the glare isn't there. Henry Clay and Theodore Fringlinghuisen. And then in 1848, we have the Free Soil candidates, Martin Van Buren and Charles Adams. And so we're seeing a lot of the same things, you know. Um, we're seeing the Eagles, uh, two men, their pictures shown very debonair. Lots of American flag imagery. Here you have the Republican Party candidates. So we have, um, in this one, we have, let's see, John Fremont and uh, William Dayton. And over here we have John Fremont and John Cochran. You'll notice that uh, Fremont is shown here um, very much uh, more military. And so, you know, uh, trying to maybe show off his military prowess. Over here we have a guy that most people will know, uh, Abraham Lincoln. And so this is the 19, uh, 1864 election, Andrew Johnson and Abraham Lincoln. Still the same thing. We see uh, lots of eagles, lots of flags. <laughs> and then we have 1864, we have McClellan and Pendleton. We have Ulysses S. Grant and Henry Wilson. I really like this one. The working man's banner for president and vice president. And so Grant shown as a tanner, uh, Wilson shown as a shoemaker. Uh, you know, showing themselves the everyday man. Now we'll kind of move into the color revolution, um, as it's called, the triumph of offset printing and political floating heads from 1890 to 1968. And so we see uh, the two parties, uh, the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, throwing some shade at each other about administration uh, promises kept. Uh, and that's William McKinley and Theodore Roosevelt. And here's McKinley again with a lot of American imperialism. Uh, and this is the 18, let's see, that one was 1900, and this is the 1896 um, to 1900, so somewhere in there. Up here we have a uh, three-time presidential candidate, uh, William Jennings Bryan, uh, and this is 1900. He's running on the Democratic Party ticket. Lots of stuff going on. I mean, trust busting in here, <laughs> you can see the 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 woman with the taking the hatchet then to um the trusts and oh my goodness um, american imperialism and here we have theodore roosevelt with charles fairbanks running for president in 1904 we have william howard taft in 1908 and on the republican ticket warren g harding um, with America First and 1920. Just to come back here, I just noticed this as I was walking by. Um, there in the Theodore Roosevelt and Charles Fairbanks, um, right here, we see the, the Fasci's um, and um, a little over, you know, about a decade and a half later, uh, or two decades later from this part, uh, point on, uh, Mussolini will adopt that uh, with his fascist party. He will adopt the fascists. Um, and, you know, the idea, though, the, being that the rods are stronger. Either any of these rods could be broken if they stand alone, but together they're stronger. FDR, Franklin Roosevelt, and let's see, this is 1944, so this is the fourth time he runs for president. Um, and I want you, FDR, stay and finish the job and he will die in his uh, last term um, as president. And here also in 1944, um, Roosevelt being shown, you know, he's the friend showing, being kind of um, more, uh, more of a homely kind of, uh, you know, this is the every man. And so we see that changing, right? We, we've seen that. Um, and here really trying to be identifiable uh, for the Progressive Party, we have Henry Wallace uh, um, and uh, the piano, or uh, Eisenhower and Richard Nixon, Let's Clean House with Ike and Dick, and that's the 1952. 
1956, here we have Texan Ike, ripe for Texas. Or in 1964, we have Johnson and Kennedy running for president. And of course, this will be the presidential campaign uh, that, that Kennedy's running for when he's assassinated. Um, and so then we also have um, this one. And this too um, is, this is uh, for Lyndon Johnson. And, uh, and so he says, no to civilization and survival. He voted against nuclear test ban, civil rights act, tax reduction, medical care for the age, minimum wage legislation, say no to the no sayer, vote Johnson. Um, and so here we have Goldwater, 1964. He's the Republican party. And now we see like more posters. It's called, they call this poster and explosion in 1968 to 72. All these look very 60s, very much like concerts. RFK before his assassination. Um, and so he's a Democratic Party hopeful. Uh, McCarthy is also, Eugene McCarthy is also a Democratic Party hopeful candidate. Uh, we see the little peace bird, McCarthy for peace. Uh, he's still alone and something happened. McCarthy, these are actually 68. Um, and Nixon looking like definitely like some type of concert uh, poster. I, this one cracks me up. This is 1968, um, and to which he will win that election. Um, Eldridge Cleaver running in 1968 on the Black Panther uh, and Peace and Freedom Party, running for president, power to the people, black power to black people, Black Panther Party, Peace and Freedom Party. Shirley Chisholm. Uh, unbossed and unbought Democratic Party hopeful in 1972. Or Nixon, also in 1972, let's keep trucking. Then we got McGovern at the Garden. Um, George McGovern running in 72. More George McGovern. And down here is just a screen print on paper with a, with a piece. Uh, the, the um, Sorry, the olive branch of peace and a little, uh, and then we have so definitely more abstract looking McGovern art in 72 or um, in the concert at the forum with Carol King, Barbara Streisand, James Taylor. Um, and so <clears throat> it says use the power, register and vote. And then after McGovern and, uh, and uh, we'll see a political poster renaissance um, and so we're going to go all the way to Obama of 2008. Um, actually, uh, I see in the distance some others. Uh, but Ronald Reagan, you know, uh, playing on his roots as an actor and his image as a cowboy. Or we have up here uh, Ted Kennedy running in 72. We have Jesse Jackson down here. Um, and over here we have a, a Roy Lichtenstein print of built for the Bill Clinton and Al Gore um, talking about a new generation of leadership. Um, and let's see, I'm just going by, I'm trying to make sure I'm going chronologically here. So we have President Clinton um, in 1996. By that point, he has won the 92 election uh, and he's running for re-election. And this one actually is from my home state of Michigan and this takes place in Battle Creek, Michigan. Uh, moving forward, we have John Kerry running on the Democratic Party ticket in 2004. Uh, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Um, but <laughs> back again, kind of with that concert feel with Tenacious D, Dave Grohl, and Liz Fair. And then we have George W. running against him on the Republican Party ticket. And here we have Hillary Clinton, who's a Democratic Party hopeful in 2008, not yet on the ticket herself. And then... We have this, this uh, one of Barack Obama. Uh, President Obama is superimposed on Abraham Lincoln. And so it's called actually Abraham Obama. And this is a 2008 poster. And the artist is Ron English. Here we have a 2008, another Obama. It says vote Obama, Democratic Party candidate, Barack Obama. And then of course we see George W there and more the native vote democratic hopeful barack obama and lastly in 2012 
Um, you have Barack Obama and uh, the, is the candidate, and uh, Bruce Springsteen is the one um, getting that last push out to uh, elect President Obama um, against Mitt Romney, who's running on the Republican candidate. And um, we see Romney. All right. I am Amy, the Roaming Historian, and I am at the Castle Museum in Saginaw County History of Saginaw County History uh, in Michigan, where this traveling exhibit is unfortunately traveling away, but maybe it's coming to a city near you soon. Take care and uh, have a great day and look for Sign of the Times at the next museum.